Hey, well, this is going to talk about uh, vectors again, vectors in the coordinate plane, and this is part two. And so we're going to continue on. Um, so we've already talked about how to find vectors in a, comp uh, in a component form, you know, how to, if you're given two points, okay, but what about if you give it space style? It says, find the component form of a vector with magnitude 7 and direction angle 60. Mm -hmm. All right, remember the old way we used to do this is, let's see here, come over here, is we'd be able to say, hey, you know, we drew this out, right? Magnitude seven, angle was 60 degrees, and I drew it out. But they want the component form. This is gonna be much like finding the VX and the VY. To find my component form, I take the magnitude of any vector, cosine of theta comma my magnitude of my vector sine of theta all right I just plug in and multiply so I plug in here my magnitude is 7 cosine 60 degrees comma magnitude again is 7 sine of 60 degrees I go get my handy dandy calculator. You guys can go ahead and plug this in. Upon plugging it into a handy dandy calculator, you should get 3.5 comma 6.06. .06. Again, make sure your calculator is in degree mode, not in radian mode for this. All right. So that's pretty straightforward, right? So next one's going to be your turn. I'm going to oh. ask you guys to go ahead and take a look at this one. It's asking the same thing. Find the component form of the vector V with a magnitude 12 and directional angle 300 degrees. Pause my video. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Now. Pause it now. Bam. My very hope is that you at least had this answer part right here. And if you had your calculator, boom. You put it in and get your answer. To check to see if your answer makes sense, draw it out. So if I have an angle of 300 degrees, that means I start here, scroll all the way around, it's 270, a little bit more makes that 300 degrees. And there's my angle, boom, I draw it in, there's my vector, I say it's 12. Doesn't make sense that this right here should be at 6, negative 10, 0.39. 6, yeah, that makes sense. It's in the right quadrant at least, right? Okay, that's all we're asking. Make sure you check, think about things, see if it works. Okay. All right, so now that, you know, another thing that we can find if you're given the component form is the angle, all right? If I want to find the angle of what I'm at, so let's first deal with this first one. It says find the direction angle of 2 comma 9 into the nearest tenth of a degree. So I come over here, put this out, and I'm going to draw this angle. And again, to draw this vector, my vector is 2 comma 9, so I start here at the origin, 2 over, 1, 2, 9 up, I'll just label that 9, there's my terminal point, there's my vector in component form, 2 comma 9, and it wants to find the directional angle, again, direction angle, direction angle is from x-axis to vector. Okay, so here I am from the x-axis to the vector. How can I find that? Again, it's a lot like what we did uh, about two weeks ago, what was in my video two weeks ago, is that to say, okay, here you are. I want to find this piece, which is theta, and theta is equal to the inverse tangent of sine over cosine, or in this case, I use this for my sine piece, 9 cosine piece, 2, 9 over 2, boom. And I go tap, tap, tapping away in my calculator, and it comes off and tells me this is 77.47 degrees. And I go, oh, well, that's easy enough, 77.47 degrees. That means from here to here, that is equal to 77.47 degrees. And for this type of problem in quadrant 1, it's a piece of cake. It's going to tell you exactly what it is. Ba-bam. Okay? 
that is not a problem. What comes a problem is this next one. Okay, I guess it said nearest tenth of degree, so 77.5 degrees to be technical, right? The next problem is a problem. So let's take a look at it. It says here, find the direction angle where r of r, you know, vector r, to the nearest tenth of a degree. So again, I want to get myself kind of set up. I want to kind of just graph it out real fast. Okay, negative 7, 2. Here I am right there. That's about it right there. There's my little vector. And again, what I'm looking for is this angle here. So I set everything up the same. I want to find out, hey, what's theta? Theta is going to be the inverse tangent. All right. Y over X is so again. 2 over negative 7. I go tap tapping away, making sure I'm still in my radius mode. I mean, I'm radius mode, in my degree mode. And I find out that my answer is a negative 15.94, blah, 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 blah. Again, nearest tenth of degree, okay, is equal to a negative 15.9. You're going, that doesn't make sense. There is no way that this is negative 15.9. And you know what? Boom. You are correct. The reason why, okay, is because inverse tangent is only good in these two quadrants. All right? So this angle right here is a negative 'm going in the opposite direction that's negative 15.9 so what does that mean that means that this over here is 15.9 degrees that's what that means so I don't want that angle I want this one how do I get that one well I start with 180 degrees I subtract out 15.9 and I get the answer of a 164.1 degrees. That means this angle here, the one I was looking for, is 164.1 degrees. So you have to be cognizant of where I'm at and what I'm doing. Okay. Moving on, it's your turn. See if you can learn what you have unlearned or unlearn what you have learned. All right. So this here, so again, find the direction angle. Here I am, negative 1, 4 to the nearest tenth of degree. What my expectation for you to be able to do is to set it up. Draw me the picture. Draw me and set up the inverse tangent. So I'm going to get it semi-started here. So you're going to draw me the picture that goes with this. Where is my radius put on there? And uh, my theta, all right? It's going to equal inverse tangent of what over what? You need to fill the blanks in. What divided by what? Fill in the blanks. All right? We'll see you on the flip side. Well, bam That's what you should have. Now I'm going to give you another piece of information. Okay? Your next piece of information is that that answer is equal to a negative 75.96. Here I am being your calculator. Beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. Okay. Is that my answer? And so obviously it can't be. It's a negative number. I, I can't have that be my angle, reference mm -hmm. angle. I want you to tell me what the angle actually is. I'm going to pause the video now, please. Please pause the video now. But ba bam that should be your answer. You should have been able to at least subtract on your own. Okay. All right. So let's talk about what's next. How can I use this information in the real world? Soccer. Everybody's favorite sport. So I here I have a soccer player. She's running forward at 7 meters per second. That's really fast. Okay. Uh, kicks a soccer ball with a velocity of 30 meters per second. That's even faster. And an angle of 10 degrees with the horizontal. 
What is the resultant speed and direction of the kick? What they're basically asking for when they here's the here's the key part. Here's what you gotta be thinking about yourself. Your hand. When you see the word here, resultant, this means add vectors. So they want me to add vectors. Oh, I'm thinking to myself in my head, dude, the easiest way for me to add vectors is get this into component form ASAP. Okay, so I'm gonna take each of my my degree, my vectors here. I'm gonna call this one uh, B and I want this to be A. So when the result, it means add vectors. That means I want to find A plus B. Okay, that's what I want to find. So how can I find these? Well, again, put them in component form. What degree measure is this one when I'm running straight at the ball? Hopefully yourself is saying zero. So when I'm setting this up, A is going to be... 7 cosine of 0 degrees, comma, 7 sine of 0 degrees. And B is going to equal 30 cosine of 10 degrees and 30 sine of 10 degrees. Hmm. I'll go get my happy calculator. Boop, pop, beep, boop, 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 pop. Okay. And I add these. This one plus this one. Then these equal. To, so this plus this in my happy calculator, I get 36.54, comma. Beep, boop, pop, boop, boop, boop. Add these two. I get 5.209. Okay, great. I did them up. There we go. Woo! Did I did I do it? No. Because resultant means add vectors. But let's take a look at this. Speed. So now that I've added the vectors, the speed part means the magnitude of my new added part. And then of course the direction of the kick which means they want theta so if I want to find the magnitude of C so the magnitude of C remember I gotta go back to what we learned uh, in the first lecture which is going to be equal to the square root of 36.54 squared plus 5.209 squared. Go grab my calculator. Boop, 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 boop. And my calculator tells me, uh, rounding to the nearest tenth, is it's 36.9. Speed now, what's my speed been measured in all the way across the board? Meters per second. So does this tell me that running into the ball and kicking it, it's going to go faster. Not quite adding it straight, 37, but pretty close because the degree angle is so small. But what about the direction of the kick? Which angle is it going to go at? What's my theta going to be? Again, I have to use my inverse tangent. Theta is equal to inverse tangent and... 5.209 over 36.54. Good. So far, so good. And when I put this all together, I find out that my angle is 8.113 degrees. Woohoo! All right. Easy enough. So, that seems about right, right? Is, does that make sense? Am I going to kick it way out here if I'm kicking it this direction? No, because it's, it's going to go flatter. It's going to be less. Makes sense.
So your turn. Don't worry, we'll do it step by step. Okay. So in your turn, here's your soccer player. You're running forward at 6 meters per second, kicks the soccer ball with a velocity of 25 meters per second and an angle of 15 degrees with the horizontal. What is the resultant speed and direction of the kick? All right. Step one, what I want you guys to do, I want you to draw. I want you guys to draw, excuse me, the picture of the vectors. Just like you saw the, the girl kicking it, I want you to draw the little picture that goes with this one. All right. So first step, pause and draw the picture. Ba-bam. That should be your picture. Okay, step two, what I want you to do is I want you to write out, okay, if I'm going to call this one vector A, I'm calling this one vector B, I want you to break this into component form for me, A and B, break it out into component form. So, write out this. Now, again, I'm just asking for you guys to write out everything in terms of what's there, okay? So I want you, you know, you don't have to find it out or punch it in the calculator. I'll take care of that later. But I want you to write it all the way out using sines and cosines and all that good stuff. All right. So pause the video now, please. Pause, pause, pause. Please pause. Bam. There it is. This should be what you have. All right. So then the next question then is for you to go ahead and find out what C is going to be. So I take C. I put it here. Now I'm going to help you out a little bit. Okay. I'm going to help you out by giving you what each of these are. Okay. And remember, C is a resultant vector, right? So I'm going to add up my components, add these up. And when I do that, I'm going to have to get in the calculator. It gives me 13.148, comma. I have these two sine parts up. And I get 6.470. All right, so now what I want you guys to do is <clears throat> I want you to find me that magnitude, the resultant speed. <clears throat> Again, all I'm going to ask you to do is set it up. I want you to do this and pause me. So I want you to find the magnitude. <clears throat> I also want you to find me find the theta. I want you to put that information in there. I want you to put you write that down. You don't have to write down the exact values or what the calculator says, but I want you to write out the steps for it. Okay? Pause me now. Pause, 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 pause. Ba bang. All right. That's what you should have. You should have the square root. Put the number squared plus another number squared. I was handy enough. I did the calculator stuff for you. 30.83 meters per second. Did my inverse tangent. Okay. Those are the numbers you should put and where they should be put. Again, happy calculator. 12.112 degrees. There you go. That's the best way to do this, guys. All right. Uh, you guys have some work tomorrow. We'll see you guys then. Bye.